What's up, ladies and fellas? And welcome to episode 7 of the Ultimate Deck Boat Build. Today, I need to work on some framing to support the upper part of the deck. And I'll be using a series of one by ones and a couple two by fours. And we're gonna build a nice little platform for this to rest on. That way, when I stand on it, it'll be able to uh, support all my weight. Let me show you a little bit more on that. Okay, down below here, um, I'm gonna be screwing some two by fours and some one by ones into the the side of the the decking there, the, the aluminum decking and uh we're gonna start building the frame up so let's jump right into it All right guys, since I'm down here, I used some little wood shims here. Really helped elevate this a little bit. That way it's not sitting on the bottom. All the support's gonna be the screws that I have in here once I get those done. And uh, yeah, we have metal support right now. Pretty solid, um, even with one screw. So I think I'm gonna put three in, um, one, two, and three just to give it that extra support. That should get the job done. Once I finish this up, I'm gonna to move to that side um, and try to get the uh, 22 inches installed. Oh guys, had a screw break. Not sure how that happened. another one I think I know what's I, th I think I know what's going wrong I need to upsize the drill bit the drill bits fine for the wood but once it hits the aluminum it's so tight that it um, my impact wrench ends up torquing so hard that it breaks the head of the screw off and so I think if I have a bigger drill bit I can get it into that aluminum a little bit better All right guys, I got the support beams in, the main support beams, and I am not too happy with how this one turned out. It uh, really moved on me, and it's really crooked. I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but I thought my hole was straight down there, but it's not, it's at an angle too, so I'll just have to deal with this one being a little bit crooked. Um, I need to undo it, move it over, just a hair, try to get it to line up a little bit better. 
the screws did not like being screwed into that aluminum hole too much they kept snapping the heads off of it but you have to have it perfectly aligned um, no funky angles and that pretty much got it in there so I'm gonna go ahead and get this moved and see if I can get it fixed All right, I got everything lined up with that board right there. Um, this was a board I had lying around, and I don't know how, but it is the perfect length for the board I need right here for this cross support. So all I need to do is sand this corner just a hair. I'm gonna sand that down some, and I'm gonna get this uh, guy installed. Um, Right here, what you're looking at is going to be where the hinges are, so I'm um, kind of beefing up this area just a hair. What I'm going to be doing next is putting this support brace underneath here. I'm gonna screw it to the boat and the deck lid is going to sit on that for support. She's resting where she needs to be for the most part. Still need to configure some other stuff, but um, I got that resting where I wanted it. That was the end goal. Uh, now I need to go work on that corner over there. Alright guys, here's the support framing. I'm going to put a cross member here. And we got the wall right here for another support. Um, and that'll probably be it. I'll probably, might come up with a couple other items. But uh, for now, I want to put a support beam across here. And I want to notch out this wood which will be interesting. So let's get started on that.
as you guys just saw, I cut this part out right here because I wanted to make getting storage in and out of this deck a lot easier. And this is my deepest part, so I'm gonna have long pieces sticking right here. Um, what I'm going to do with these notches here and here and on the back is I need to cut a board and it's going to be on the lid of the deck which will swing up and come in and sit right on that. So it'll also provide support this way but it'll get it out of the way once it swings up to have you know nice storage across here. The end goal is not to have too many braces in the way when you're trying to access storage and pull things out. So trying to come up with the most logical, easy way to do this. And uh, pretty much that's what I got so far. So let's keep plugging away and I'll uh, show you how this is gonna work. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna put any support across here. I probably should. I just, uh, I'm gonna try to do a test and see if it bows very badly and then try to think of some kind of support brace if it needs it. So let's get this test going. Well guys, it doesn't need supported. It's holding my weight right now. I think my frame's a little too sturdy to be honest uh, after getting up on here, but better safe than sorry, right? Got everything set up to uh, put in this back piece right here. I can start that project someday. And get this puppy fitted in the hinges on it eventually. Once I figure out what the weight is, I'll move forward with buying gas shocks for this uh, for this deck lid so it can swing up. I'll probably use my fishing scale to get a weight on this thing and try to figure out <clears throat> how much weight we're working with here. Since I have everything in place, I think I'll double check it. I'm going to go ahead and put some screws in right here.
guys, I don't have the right angle to get a screw in over here. So, I'm going to go to my workbench and look for a bracket. I might put like an L bracket right here. Hopefully I can find one. Alright guys, I found two brackets lying around. Uh, if I can figure them like this, I can get it to work. So I'm going to use those right there. There you have it, boys and girls. There's the trolling motor box frame right there. I'm gonna be using that. Um, I'm thinking about this a lot. I'm gonna cut this right here, right here, and there. Just so I can uh, open that up some more and uh, get rid of some unnecessary uh, wood right here. Um, I have a feeling I'm getting pretty carried away with the weight. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm guessing there's probably 75 pounds up here so far. And by the end, it's probably going to be 100. So if I can shave off as much as possible, that'll be nice. Um, when I set up here and tested everything, like I said, uh, it was plenty sturdy. And so... I'm probably over framing some and so I might think about shaving uh, some framing off I'll think about it I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but uh, I'll look into that later so let's make this final cut and uh, get that centerpiece out right here so let's get that going What do you guys think of all this frame making here? Man, that was a lot of work. It was a long day today. I got most of it configured. Um, still got a ways to go on that front as far as the uh, decking goes. The reason I haven't supported the wall yet right here is because um, I want to paint it first before I screw it in. So that's why I'm kind of keeping it uh, freestanding. I haven't screwed that one in yet. Um, Next time, we're gonna have to look into getting these latches going. They'll be on the front deck right here. I need a two and a half inch drill saw, which I don't have, so I'm probably gonna have to buy one to get that going. I still got the front trolling motor box to make and get that figured out. I'm probably going to use some L brackets, so I need to get those added to my budget list along with the drill saw. I'll go ahead and order one of those and add it to the budget. Here before too long, we'll be putting hinges on. And I think I'm gonna utilize my router to uh, recess the hinge bar into the wood. That way it's not sticking up out of the deck and it won't be an irritation to stand on or step on. So that'll be nice, get that out of the way. But that's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed this, please smash that like button. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. And I will try to answer them the best I can. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please do me a favor. Go down there and subscribe. And follow along. I got a bunch more episodes coming up. And if you haven't seen any of them yet, go check out my channel and the playlist. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you guys later.